what are your thoughts on the you know the actual foreclosure crisis, the fiasco, whatever you want to call it, and what the long term implications of this is? I mean, a lot of people are saying you know we have all this shadow inventory out there, and for I think different people take shadow inventory to mean different things. But what I really see it as is basically the amount of homes that have yet to hit the market that are 90 days late, that are already REO'd by the lender, or that they're in process to to actually take that house back. What what do you think the long-term implications, you can give it to us on a national level, uh, sure. of what you think is going to happen? Well, you just gave a, a very precise summary of the most inclusive uh, definition of shadow inventory. So if you take it, like, from, from the largest, from those homes that are already in foreclosure, those that probably will go into foreclosure, um, that creates an issue for the banks because the ones that are already in foreclosure – they're on the hook for it. The bank owes uh, money, or basically is not going to get that money. Similarly, then they have to get rid of those homes, because the longer they hold on to them, the more uh, costs they incur, because in many areas they're responsible for the upkeep and for the, um, for the taxes and so on. And also, if there's an issue as to whether the homes that they've already foreclosed upon, they did not do properly, that creates quite a mess as to whether they can – they have to put reserves aside for people coming back. It also puts a cloud on the titles of the people who bought those foreclosed homes. Right. They make it harder for them to sell in the future uh, when they go to the market and someone may be challenging the, the purchase of their home. Because if people don't have faith, again, it comes down to uncertainty, as you mentioned, any kind of uncertainty in the market, uh, prices, it's, it's hard for them to rise. If people don't have faith that they can buy a foreclosure and get good title to it, and that there was some talk a while back where some of the title companies stopped writing title insurance on some of the big banks' um, mortgages, if that happens, then you have an issue not just with the housing market, but you go right back to another banking issue. Right. Because if the banks can't get rid of these homes, uh, it would be very difficult for them to say that they're performing assets. Uh, it, it could create to another issue where the bank needs to get bailed out again.